Now today I want to share with you a tip that uh, resulted from something that uh, happens to most RVers eventually. And that is what happens when you're doing something and the power suddenly shuts down in your RV. Yeah, it actually happened to me today. Good. So, get started drying my hair and then boom, power's out. Like, uh, Brian's not here, I'm not really sure what to do. So I know to kind of look for a few basic things. You overloaded the circuit. I knew I overloaded the circuit, but I wasn't sure why. And I thought, okay, I should go to the breaker panel. So I went to the breaker panel. I've actually never messed with that before. So tried opening it. I couldn't figure out how to open it. At that point, I'm like, I just gotta wait for him to get back, so. So I get back and she's standing there going, ah, I broke the RV. I thought I broke the RV. <laughs> <laughs> so what to do? I know this is going to happen to you eventually. Let's give you a couple of tips to uh, help you get power restored to your RV quickly and uh, so you can get back to doing whatever it is you were doing. Drying your hair, yeah. which is important, especially when you're a girl. Can I get this sucker dry? The first thing you want to do is unplug all your power hungry devices and appliances. Like this hair dryer that draws about 1900 watts. Melissa, how do you feel about air drying your hair? Not happening. Oh well, unplug it. If you've got a coffee pot running, turn it off, unplug it. Chances are you have an air conditioner or a heater going. Make sure you turn that off too. And you may have a water heater turned on. Make sure that's turned off too. That sucks a lot of energy and power from your RV. Turn it off. Tip number two. Try resetting the power inside your RV. Simply just turn off the breaker. You might start with the main breaker. And uh, to turn them off, turn it back on again, and uh, see if the power comes back on. Okay, now if your RV has ground fault interrupt or GFCI outlets, it's also possible if you overload the circuit that these outlets um, pop and uh, will the power will shut down. Simply reset them as well and uh, see if that does the trick. Okay, if you still don't have power, now it's time to move on to tip number three. Resetting the power on the outside of your RV. Yep, that's outside. Let's go. If everything's already been reset inside your RV, this is going to be the likely culprit. Simply check the circuit breaker, turn it off, turn it back on, and you'll probably be good to go. Now let's say you're not running off of shore power, but you're powering your RV by your generator. Now there's also one other thing to check. The generator itself has a circuit breaker on it. And this is the one that most people miss the first time. Now on my own on 4000, you take the cover off the generator. The switch is located right down here. It's kind of hard to find, but it's a little black switch down there. So if the uh, circuit breaker is popped, it'll be popped the other direction. Just simply reset it and maybe you'll be good to go. Okay, so if you followed all those steps, your power should be back on and you should be back in business. Now gradually, one by one, start turning things back on and plugging things back in. And if the power happens to go out again while you're doing that, you guessed it, back to step one. So do you think you'll know what to do next time you break out your gigantic <laughs> hair dryer and kill all the power in the dryer. RV? Yeah, I do. I think I do. I think I was going in the right direction. And of course, we realized the culprit was the shore power. So mm -hmm. had I known to go out there, check it, reset it, I probably could have done it all by myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. I hope you like this tip. And as always, uh, have fun RVing, everybody. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you next time. And cut. Yeah. <laughs>